Hey, what's up guys? This is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If this is your first time, appreciate you tuning in. If you come back, then hey, keep coming back. We, we enjoy you being here. All right, so, um, but, oh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a friend of ours, the subscribers are our, are our friends. Uh, that's the way we look at it. Um, and then hit the little bell over there for us and make sure you stay uh, connected, you know, on everything. So, but let's go ahead and jump off into the video today. All right, so we're gonna jump into another uh, console, the Allen & Heath uh, Avantis. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to assign DCAs in the, on the Avantis, on the Allen & Heath Avantis console. All right, so no point in wasting time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So what you want to do is, of course, figure out which DCA you want something to go to. And so we're going to use DCA1. Let's assign, um, let's put tw um, 12 through, well, 7 through 12 on DCA1. Um, what we can do is we can s select DCA1. And we can go to routing and we can just go right here and hit one, two, three, four. <laughs> and now seven through 12 are in DCA one. All right. So um, that's how you assign those particular channels. Well, any channel to a DCA. So if we wanted to go to DCA2 and assign some channels, we can assign, you know, one, two, three, four to DCA2. And then we can go to DCA3, assign whatever, DCA4, assign whatever, DCA5, assign whatever, and so on and however. All right. So those are the inputs for uh, that DCA. You can assign returns, uh, groups. You can assign oxes, effects returns, main, and matrices to that DCA. All right? So that's how you do that. All right. Appreciate you guys for watching that. And hopefully you learned how to uh, assign your DCAs on your Avantis. It's not hard at all. It's a you know pretty slick console and pretty easy to to use. I mean, if you if you've dealt with the uh, GLD or any other other ones like that, then it's you know it's not too far off. But uh, let's go ahead and end this video. But before we do, if you haven't didn't do it at the beginning, make sure you hit the subscribe button or ring that bell. So. Talk to you guys in a minute, and I'll see you next time. This is Jason with Sound Design Studio. Talk to you later. Peace.